So we've taken the hood off so you can see the mounting, this huge thick seat board here, and then a big brass bustress with a piece coming out on which the pendulum is hooked. So the pendulum itself is not actually mounted on the back plate, it's mounted on this huge buttress. And the buttress is then braced onto the movement, or should I say the movement is then braced onto the buttress by the, the similar knurled top screws. The construction of this heavy mechanism is to make sure that there's no vibration um, or movement in between the clock and the case and so the case can be screwed hard against the wall and then the buttress itself will mount the pendulum and then the clock um, is on the thick heavy seat board and the hole is a good strong mount system to make sure that in the long term nothing moves. The pillars are uh, typical of the original Fromentiel construction. They're riveted firmly into place into this back plate and then the front one is with a screwed cap to mount the front plate. So again it's a really rigid construction. Big strong pillars pulled together with the screws. And then the movement itself you can see the very very fine teeth work here and the crossings giving a, a lovely light uh, accurate set of uh, wheels and then the very light escape wheel at the top. I'm afraid in moving it for the photography it's a bit out of beat but you'll have to forgive me for that. <laughs>